stuff now what i will say i have one router here let me take one switch also we can configure the telnet in switch also in router also in firewall also that is up to us where we want to configure so here i have one router i can give the label here r1 and switch label i can give as w1 our wish whatever we want to give now we need to design what ip address we want to give to these devices so we can access the device without ip we cannot access the device we should have the ip address so we will put some label here so by seeing this one we know we are planning to give this ip so i will write here 192.168.1.1 here and here i can give to the switch also we can assign the ip to switch also so we should have the same network ip so if you remember network id and wildcard we we know that one so they are directly connected whatever is directly connected they should be in the same network if they are in different network then it will not work as we already know that one right example here if i have instead here imagine if i have 192.168.2.1 here then it will work this computer can talk to this uh, router no. No. Uh, no because the, uh, here whatever present in this interface in this area you should have that ip only that network ip only if you are having different then you should use the different interface that connect to the different interface this side should be same so here you will change this as a one here one dot one here if you want we can go to the pc and assign the ip 192.168.1. what ip we give here 1. Dot, sorry not 1.1 1. 1.2 1. 1.3 we can use and 1.1 1. 1 will be the gateway gateway you need to remember gateway ip should be the router interface ip so gateway for this device should be the router interface ip let me repeat here this is our device computer IP subnet mask automatically subnet mask will come this is a class C so you will get this one and this is a gateway gateway means this router interface IP 192.168.1.1 <laughs> and after that what we can say we can configure here so how we can configure click here click here and you can do here and go with the configuration configuration is simple if you want we can do here in the notepad we will write here like uh, basic telnet telnet lab r1 configuration i can say r1 so first we will give enable if you remember we will go from the uh, what we can say user mode to the privilege mode then we will go in the global configuration mode if you want to do any configuration then i will change the name of the router i need to assign the ip address so i will write interface f0 by 0 if i write interface f0 by 0 i will be inside this interface then i will write ip address 192.168.1.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shut here So this way we will assign the IP address to the router. So if you copy like this and you paste it will work. Go to the router here and we can paste this here. So with this, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> sorry, with this one we can log assign the IP to the router. So if you want to check also we can check what we done like uh, show ip interface brief we use this command show ip interface brief to check the interface status show ip interface brief so you can see this is the interface ip which interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 you have this ip address and the status is up interface and protocol is also up so we assign the ip so if you are trying to ping from here it will work only ping is work but you cannot do the telnet because still we did not configure the telnet if you see i am pinging this one 
192.168.1.1 and you can see ping is working and if you want to do the telnet how you can do telnet you will write telnet and you will put the IP address of that router interface so it is not working right why it is not working because still we did not configure if you want to configure the telnet then only if we configure the telnet then only it will work so if you want to configure telnet what you will do you will go in the global configuration mode and first of all you need to enable the password so i will write enable password you can give anything abc i'm giving and then lan vty 0 to 4 login and uh, one more we are giving the password here I can give here password anything we can give this is a telnet password I can give ABC okay and then I am saying login this is the step only this is only the step to enable the telnet I will put in the notepad and we will verify oh, sorry I did not copy this where it is yeah here I can remove this so you can understand yeah okay and yes. now you can try here if in case if we have an issue we will fix so if you see when I write telnet and this IP it is asking you the password directly it is not asking you username or anything directly is asking password so what password we give here telnet password ABC so we will give that ABC only here then you are inside the router if you want to go to any other mode you will write enable right so when you write enable they are asking you the enable password this is the password that goes on. so I need to give here also ABC then you are inside the router if you want to go in the global configuration mode you will go inside but if, if you want to do any configuration you can do but now imagine this is your fourth floor you are sitting in the ground floor how you are able to access the device you are not in the same location you are not using the console cable you are in different place and you are connected with normal your cable that is ethernet cable you want to access the internet you have the internet connection here from the ISP you can access the internet li like this and also if you want to configure the router you can use the telnet now you can see you are inside the router without connecting the console cable before we are right keeping our laptop like this and connecting with the console port and you are doing with the putty but now you can do with putty also this one also but here yes. you are not in the same location you are in the different location and you can access the device how you can access with the help of telnet so telnet is a protocol which is used to access the device remotely if you see in the real scenario what you will do you will select this one and you will put here this IP and port number you will not change telnet port number is 23 only so you will put 192.168.1.1 and you can access this device remotely then you will click this with the putty in the real scenario so now you understand right how we are connecting how we can access the device remotely we are saying we are able to access the device remotely re like that but how we are accessing the device remotely means you will be in the different place and you want to access this how you can access you can access simple just with the help of telnet but the problem here is telnet is not secure telnet is so SSH is also same processor like you know yeah SSH some configuration is uh, different some commands is different and to do to do the SSH we will select the SSH option and uh, some small comments will be different but data will be encrypted and no if even anyone at, uh, capture our data they cannot understand what we put it will be encrypted means garbage value let me show you where you have the option for the 
telnet sorry ssh if you see this one with this option you will select and you will put the ip address before we are using this one for telnet but for the ssh you will put the here option and you will put the ip configuration will be little different not this one you are not we will use this one but we need some more thing also to do the ssh so ssh we will do later in our next class now we will focus only the telnet so this is one type of telnet configuration but imagine your manager saying no i have the lot of engineers i need to have the different login detail not the common login for all then in that one you will create the username and password for all the guys and instead of saying login you will say login local here so locally device can act means a local user can access means individual user can access with individual login credential now here if you see same login for all if you see here if i exit this if i exit this if i write again telnet you can see they are asking me only the password not the username this is common for all the engineer if i am having 20 engineers in the company all will put the same password and they can access like this but if your manager is saying no we don't need like this we will use the individual username and password then we will create the different method to do the telnet so what we need to do we need to create with the username and password and we can check and later we can do the same lab in the packet evng or gns3 to capture the packet and check we are saying telnet is unsecure what we are saying telnet is unsecure anyone can capture our data and they can see our data if you see here 